CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Hoggy disappointed not to get the game in Port Elizabeth? Uh, yeah, dis disappointed not to play. You know, the career's coming to an end. I am 43, but hopefully it keeps going for another couple of years. But yeah, just out with a slight hamstring injury. So hopefully that will be on the improve for the next couple of games. Did you think playing in the BBL this year that you'd get another crack in the Australian colours? Uh, no, not really. Um, but I must admit, after about the third game, I felt that I was going all right and uh, knew that the World Cup was coming up. And I, I thought, well, I'm half a chance of getting selected again. Um, you always have those dreams, and it's great to be on board again representing Australia. You came over to South Africa early to work with Shane Warren. What was that like? Uh, it was fantastic. I uh, learned a lot. Um, the ins and outs of cricket. Uh, how, how we should act both on the f and off the field, but uh, no, it was brilliant. Um, it's, gr it's great to have a, a, a great week with, um, with, with the King. Uh, I really haven't spent that much time with him throughout my career. I, I probably played two games with him in Australia and then we had the World Cup in 2003 where he, was, uh, he departed early. I don't really want to go into that, but um, it was just great to be able to get down and pick, pick, pick the bones out of his, his brain and um, move forward. I've, I've still got another six games or seven games at least to represent my country and uh, you, know, you, you, you don't lose that opportunity to improve your skills. You said that you were 43. We've got a 20-year-old league spinner here as well. What's it like mentoring him along the way? Yeah, mentoring. It's uh, hard work, Jimmy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, James Muirhead. Uh, look, he's a, he's a bright young fella, and it's it's great to see the kids wanting to learn and uh, really putting in and, and working hard out their skills. And we've we've played a couple of games of golf as well. And you know, you think that you go out there for a leisurely stroll around the golf course, but you do talk cricket, and uh, it's it's good to be able to have those opportunities to talk to the young fellas and and go through your experiences. He he does ask questions. He wants to learn, and uh, hopefully, I can give him the right recipes to, for him to succeed down the, down the line, just like Shane Warne does. Uh, what about looking ahead to Durban? Hopefully there's, uh, the weather stays clear and we can get another game there. Yeah, well, it's disappointing, the weather. It uh, looks like there's rain in Durban and uh, it, it, it's been raining for the last week and a half in uh, Joburg as well. So hopefully it stops and we do get a game somewhere along the line because we've got a big tournament in, the, in Bangladesh coming up and we want to succeed there and we need match practice. What do you think about playing in Bangladesh? Um, your last, last World Cup potentially, um, you were in the 2012 World Cup. Um, what did you take from that experience into this one? Um, oh, look, I think it's great. It's, uh, you know, last World Cup or the T20 World Cup, I thought it was going to be the last. And it, it, it just really expresses that uh, saying that you've got to play each game as though it's your last. And if you do that, you, you're going to have success. And that's what I've been doing for the last three years. And it seems to be working. But I'm really looking forward to it. I, I really uh, want to help this team get, get some success in T20 cricket. Uh, I've been f fortunate enough to win two World Cups in the 50 over competition, but uh, to, to have success for the first time in a World Cup in the T20 competition, that will finish my career right off.